Today we're losing our ash tree way out there. It's a city tree. The city puts trees on the between the sidewalk and street here. And the ash trees all have like some sort of bug that's killing them. So we had the choice to pay a couple hundred bucks every two years and inject the tree or they pay to take it down and give you a new tree. So all of our neighbors and us are getting new trees because there's also a 100% chance that they will die. Anyway, they're taking it down today and I thought maybe they could take our extra branches because Solo trimmed our tree in the back. No, they're only allowed to take the actual tree they cut down. <laughs> Even though they're mulching it up and everything. <laughs> I don't know, weird rules. I'm sure there's a good reason. Are you feeling better today, Noel? A little. <laughs> You're better. Are you better? Oh, you weren't even sick. <laughs> Tori went to the orthodontist today to work on her retainer. So she took that retainer case all the way to Kenya. Never lost it. Well, we did leave it at someone's house for a few days. But she was so good about taking it out, putting it in the case every time she ate. She's doing a good job. Okay, say it in your normal voice. I want to go outside. Oh, okay. We're working on not crying and whining for everything we say. <laughs> uh oh, the rug's wet. Uh oh, go that way. Go on that side. Today's Tuesday, we school Tuesday through Friday. So today is back to our regular schedule. Besides watching a tree get cut down, which I'm sure we'll do, <laughs> we're just back to our regular days. Are you gonna clean up this mess you made? Oh. <laughs> Here goes our tree. It's so sad. It's such a big tree. We actually picked to have it treated. But then they came and told us, just because we didn't want to lose all that shade, but then they told us it'd be, it's a 100% chance of dying and it's actually too small to treat. So it's not even allowed. So we're losing a big, beautiful tree to bugs. Yeah, I think mulches it all up. We will get a new tree, but it won't be so big and shady for quite a few years. Is that one sick? Yeah, this one is sick. Is it like a bug? Uh huh. Attacked all the ash trees in our city. What kind of tree are we going to get? A not non ash tree. <laughs> I don't know. It'll give us a choice of four or five different species. And then it goes out that way into the truck. Oh, yeah, it blows it right into the truck. I don't think there's enough room in that truck. It mulches it so small. Sad, isn't it? Look, <laughs> I don't really look different. It, it does look different already. Wow, how quick! This is our schoolroom, and today a package came. I found a cupboard on Amazon that I'm wanting to put here. I actually want to get two of them, but I just want to try one out, make sure I liked it first. It's a big white cupboard with doors because. You can homeschool with very little materials, but I don't. I pick a curriculum, and I pick a curriculum that is a ton of books. But I personally don't like to see all of that all the time. <laughs> Visual clutter bothers me a little bit. And so for years, I wanted to get cupboards. And I've looked and looked, and finally I found a decent price on one that had good reviews on Amazon. Um, it's not like... Um, good wood or anything like that but I'm gonna give it a try and I'll put, I'll put 
Hopefully I'll put two of them here so it'll home, hold all our homeschool stuff. Over here we, we're working this morning. We have our computer and a big table where we can spread out all our stuff. I'm working with Eli and Tori this morning. Then we have some supplies over here, which is okay with me. Some notebooks and containers in our printer. Over here, Eli uses this desk. But uh, I would really like this to be like just closed cupboards. And since we use our formal dining room, what the house would intend to be a formal dining room as our school room, it's right next to our kitchen. And so I'm thinking I might have extra room in these cupboards to use like maybe half of one for a pantry, an extra pantry, because that thing is hard to pack, especially at the beginning of the month when I first do my grocery shopping for the month. It would be nice to have an extra space where maybe I can put bread, cans, that kind of thing. So I'll show you. It showed up today through the mail, but I don't think I have time to build it today because I got a lot of school to do. Um, we're trying to finish up in July, so we have a couple weeks break before we start our next year, halfway through August. I also have, um, what do I have today? Oh, I have a lot of editing too, so a lot of work to do today. I probably won't have time to build it. Mike and I are the ones who usually build furniture around here. Solo does too when he has time, sometimes Luca. Um, but Solo doesn't have much time often. Mike is very good at it and he loves it. And I like it too, I like reading directions. <laughs> I'm a follow directions kind of person. <laughs> what are you working on? I'm building an electric magnet. No, not magnet, I'm building an electric motor. An electric motor. Okay, pulling out the old science boxes here. Yeah. Are you doing it safely? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay, so ignored lunch. It's messy around here, but. Wow, Luca, that's so cool. I like how you improvised with the Kleenex box. Very nice. See, when you touch that wire to the battery. Uh -huh. <laughs> so cool. If I had more powerful magnet, it'd spin around faster. Uh, magnet or battery? Magnet. Okay. I made a few adjustments here. All right, I got the cupboard up. The door is a little bit off, but the instructions, actually one of the steps is to fix the door. So I think that's pretty normal. Anyway, I saved some screws and screwdrivers up there for Solo to do that part. Luca and Micah and I built the shelf though. It looks really nice. So I knew it wouldn't fit everything. I just didn't want to buy two. I didn't want to spend that kind of money. They're, they were less than 200 bucks, but a bit less than 200 bucks each. And it was such a good deal compared to everything else I have found, but I still didn't want to buy two in case they were not very good quality but I went back after I bought it and put it together, loved it. I went back to look again and of course that seller is not selling anymore and everything else, the exact same one everywhere else is $300. So I'll be waiting on that until it comes back down. But I do like how the one even helped a lot to just clear some space in here, make it look a little cleaner and emptier. I don't know, it's hard to back up enough but I sure love how everything's hidden. And then if I, ha if I put the shelving right in the next one, I can even put that microscope in it. But yeah, this is my school. So the whole bottom is all science basically. Then I have, we start at sunlight at third grade. Um, before that we use a Becca a lot, some workbooks. So right now I don't have anybody in that much. So I got third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, ninth and 10th. And then Judah will do his last year of 11th next year. And then I won't have him do any more of those cores after that. If you're a sunlight person, it's B plus C, D, E, F, G, H. And then that's the American History High School. And that's the, Judah, what is that? 20, oh, 20th century. <laughs> 20th century? What? What did you do? What are you doing this year? 20th century history and literature. And the next year we'll do the American government and one of the literatures. I can't remember which one we picked. That's all our English. That's all our government and what? Half of its government and the next semester is economics. Economics, oh. Then this is our Singapore math we use a lot of. This is the algebra book. 
that we love and that was extremely hard. <laughs> it's a Swahili course. And we also use, these are extra books of Wordly Wise for the ones going into, I've gotta order some more. And then I don't, don't even have these on my wall. I love putting things inside cupboard doors because <laughs> I really want these posted, their schedules and stuff, how long in the summer. We get them down to three or four hours each. Judah has a little more. Um, and I just wanted that posted up there somewhere. So that works good for me when it's inside. Keeps my walls cleaner. I do that in my kitchen cupboards too. Like recipes I use a lot, like my bread machine recipe. I just put it inside the cupboard. So this will help me just before the next grade starts, I'll replace that one jar, fill those things up with pencils and markers and erasers that I'm missing. And we, we've been working today, so that's what that is. Okay, I put the English back together to show you. Um, we use Rod and Staff for English. I am not one of those homeschoolers that um, switches curriculum, <laughs> ever. <laughs> I find what I like and just keep it. Saves money though, a lot of money. And if I have something that's not working for one child, I'll use the same curriculum and just sort of try to adjust it to that child's learning style, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. 